Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Right out of the gate, I want to thank Violet for watching these videos and leaving comments. Uh, Violet is one of my granddaughters. Love to you, Violet, and love to your sister, Sophia. Both of you kisses. Miss you much. <laughs> and Violet, thanks for watching the videos. And more than that, thank you for leaving comments. You are amazing. So today we're playing back in an altered book. Uh, I try to post, I try to publish four public videos um, a month. And this one is, yes, in our altered books with a packing tape transfer. Very fun. Immediate gratification. That's what this girl's always looking for anyway. I will have Amazon links under this video. I will also have a link to my website, which has lists of my classes, that uh, my workshops and classes that are coming up. And also Patreon uh, information in case you're interested in joining Patreon and getting some of the extra goodies that happen through that platform. So, all right, enough from me. See you on the table. So here's our project for today, a work in process. That would be me. <laughs> this is a packing tape transfer. Fun background first, and then the transfer on that. Very, very fun. The background, this actually has a pocket here, and it's a background of uh, different acrylics and stencils. Oh, very, very fun. All right, I have a sturdy page on this side, a sturdy page on this side. I have four pages in the center and I'm going to glue them together. All right, a sturdy page here, a sturdy page here. I just glued four pages together with Mod Podge. I'm gonna bring in my ruler and I am just going to remove a section of that. And I'm going to put some Mod Podge around the top here and the bottom here. And I am going to press those back into place and we have created a pocket in here. We're going to let that dry. So we do have a pocket in here. It's all glued together. I'm going to cover these two pages with uh, underpants. So with Mod Podge and underpants, I'm going to go through these two pages and I'm just going to go up to this edge. I love this edge that this is all torn and ragged, so I'm going to leave that. So I am just putting underpants on the other parts. Put some purple on my workspace. Start at the bottom. Adding a little bit of water to that so that I can blend it up. I did not cross the paper over the center line. I have discovered that's pretty hard on the spine, constantly learning. So I'm just going through with the paper towel and I'm blotting it, kind of giving it some texture. Bring in a blue.
bring in some texture with the paper towel. And I'm not letting these things dry completely between layers. And this is some ochre. Now that we're going to let dry. That's beautiful. All right, gorgeous colors. A little too neat and tidy for this girl, so I'm going to bring in some uh, sandpaper and grunge it up a little bit. Now I'm going to put a little bit of the lime green on my workspace. Bring in this. <laughs> I believe it's leftovers from a sequence. I'm sure somebody knows the real name of it. And I'm just going to bounce some lime green circles in here. And I'm going to go over the torn area, just treating them as one. So it kind of goes off the page there. Very fun. All right, just do this until you are content. Bringing in some blue and a stencil. And with my blending sponge, I'm going to go through there. Beautiful. That is a scrumptious page. Now I'm going to bring in this crackle stencil, which is very fun, and more of that blue. And bounce it through that stencil. The unveiling. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, I'm just going to put the stencil down here and add some of the crackles down there. Gorgeous. All right, this is a plaid stencil from Folk Art, and I believe it's called Crackle, if that's a, of any help at all. So I have this stencil that has the lines on it. Now a little bit of yellow ochre and my palette knife. And I'm going to let this whole delicious page dry. We've got stripes, we've got crisscrosses, we've got splatters, we've got dots, and we've got a gorgeous uh, colored background behind all of that texture. So that's really, really fun. I think I'm going to put a little bit up there. Ta-da! All right, I found this yummy picture, delicious, in a magazine. All right, so I made an inkjet copy of her uh, to save the original and also so that I can use it for a Patreon uh, focal point at the beginning of July, so that will be fun. Now I'm going to cover this entire image with uh, packing tape, just some plain old packing tape. So completely cover your image with your packing tape. Now you can cut off the uneven edges if you want. I am not going to. I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to bring in a bone folder and really burnish that down. 
You can do this on the front of with the tape or on the back with the paper. I'm going to go ahead and do it on both sides just to make sure that that image is really stuck down. Now there was a little something something caught up in there and it ripped a little bit. Yep, okay with that. We're going to call that texture. Yes, we are. Well, we're going to hope that that is burnished enough. Now, if you're the patient type, you can soak this. Yeah, not so much this girl. So I'm just spritzing some water on the back. And then I'm going to start rolling that paper off. And I'm going to do this to the whole piece. Now you can see that the image has been deposited onto the tape, which is so fun. Right, she is completely cleaned off the back. Maybe some little bits of this and that, but I don't care about that. On that page, she doesn't show up so much. On this page, she shows up delicious. I think we'll put her right there. There is some sticky stuff left on the back of this tape, but I don't trust it completely. So I'm going to bring in my tacky spray adhesive glue, which is now all over my fingers, and I'm going to put her down where I want her. I'm just pushing her down with a paper towel, push her down the best I can. Trim off those edges. Alright, I found some words that I like. I'm just going to crinkle them up. I have sticky, sticky hands. And I hit that with the black soot, the Distress Ink, and it picked up the wrinkles, and I'm just going to glue that down there with Mod Podge. I did not put Mod Podge on the top of that paper because that will move the uh, black soot Distress Ink. So the tape is just a little bit too shiny for me, so I'm coming in with some sandpaper and just Scuffing it up. So the sandpaper took off a lot of the shine, so you can actually see her better. And I'm going to take some Stabilo to the edge. So the Stabilo, of course, will go on the paper edges, but it doesn't want to show up so well on the tape. So I'm going to grab my stays on. And I'm just going to hit the edge of that taped area with some black stays on. That is pretty darn cool. Stabilo around my words. Oh, that was fun. 
and it worked. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.